shallow angle, about three degrees nose up. Concord comes in a bit like a swan landing with its head held high. And so you can't see at all where you're going. So first the visor would come down. And then the nose will go down to five degrees. Now, because this was the development Concorde, it experimented with different amounts of nose deflection. And this one can go right the way down to 17 and a half degrees to give the pilots a view of the, the runway as they are landing. So 17 and a half degrees, please, Steve. We'll do the lights after this, Steve. He's just asking me whether. We'll do the 17 and a half degrees. So he's now running the approach into JFK, into New York Airport. That area tends to be um, quite hazardous. It has a lot of small planes flying around. So typically at this stage, the pilot would put the landing lights on, not so he can see or she can see where they're going, but so they can be seen. So let's have the landing lights on. Some of them are flush with the body, they come on straight away. Others, because it has to be streamlined, lower down. And once they're lowered down, you'll see the landing lights come on. Now, as I mentioned earlier, this is the development Concorde. When airline pilots started learning to fly on this one, they didn't like it. They liked the view. You could see the runway okay, but you totally lose sight of the nose. So all of the other Concords, apart from this one, are less droopy. Their noses go to 12 and a half degrees. So if we can show that now, Steve. I should have told you at the outset, by the way, that this video is being streamed around the world. So if you are wanted by anybody, <coughs> you need to hide behind somebody because uh, all sorts of people are viewing this. And I'd like also to thank Wave FX, um, our video engineers, and the Imperial War Museum's technicians for helping us set this up. So there you have it. That's how it would look um, coming into land. It comes in extremely fast, um, even though its nose is held high. Lands something like 40 to 60 miles an hour faster than any other airliner. But it's got incredibly strong uh, carbon fiber brakes. The first plane to have them, it can stop very short. It might make the passengers a bit nauseous, but it can stop very short. And then once he's landed, he would clean the airplane up a bit, ready to taxi in. So the nose is gonna go back to five degrees, but because of the way this one is wired, we have to first go down again to 17 and a half degrees. As I said, this is the droopiest Concorde ever. You won't see any others that can do that. And now we take the nose up to five degrees so that we can taxi into the airport. Obviously, it goes slower going up because it's pulling the weight rather than being assisted by gravity when it goes down. And so he taxis into the terminal, connects to the gate, and then typically, because they rather like it looking streamlined, the pilots would clean it right up just so that when the passengers come off and look back, they see the supersonic profile. So let's get the nose up to zero degrees. I think it's getting tired, Steve. Right, so the nose is up to zero degrees. We put the visor up, and there we are. You see the supersonic profile. That's the end of the presentation of the nose droops, folks. If you want to go on Concord, uh, I think we're going in via the back entrance. We'll have the flight deck open. You might have to queue for a little while, but it's worth the photo opportunity. So thank you. Have a good rest of the day.